Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. Facebook has been sued by the U.S. Federal Trade Commission for its alleged anti-competitive conduct. The FTC alleges that the social media giant used a systematic approach to eliminating competition to maintain its social networking monopoly in acquiring Instagram in 2012 and WhatsApp in 2014. The FTC is asking the court to force the sell-off of Instagram and WhatsApp as independent businesses. The prosecution is investigating the family of former Star Mobility CEO Kim Bong-hyun, a figure in the center of the Lime Asset Management scandal. They searched and seized the personal mobile phones of Kim's wife and sister and seized the cash belonging to Kim's brother-in-law. Kim says the prosecution is unfairly punishing his family after he exposed prosecutors engaged in corruption. The revised Road Traffic Act with tougher regulations on personal mobility vehicles has passed the National Assembly. When the bill takes effect as early as April, only those who pass a personal mobility vehicle license test will be allowed to drive one. And parents of the children who drive a PMV will be subject to a fine of 200,000 won or less. Finally, at a lecture held at the Asan Institute for Policy Studies in Seoul yesterday, U.S. Dep- Deputy Secretary of State Stephen Began said the 2018 Singapore summit between the U.S. and North Korea still holds potential to this day and emphasized that diplomacy is the best and only course to address the denuclearization of North Korea. He expressed his regrets that the last two years, which went by with the North only looking for obstacles instead of finding new ways to reach an agreement. With the 8th Party Congress scheduled for January of next year, Began called on North Korea to utilize this time to pave the way for the resumption of diplomatic relations and stress the importance of cooperation among both Koreas and the U.S. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, implications of the Amazonian rainforest rapid deforestation, followed by a discussion on the Biden administration's Asian czar potential appointment and how that decision may affect South Korea.